let's get right to it. What is on your mind? What's what got you going? You know, the thing that actually has been keeping me up at night is the Secret Service thing that's been going on. Like, don't you feel like the Secret Service is supposed to be superhuman, unknowable ninjas who can do anything? Yeah, but that's you know? not realistic. It's not Explain realistic. what happens. But so there, I mean, there's nothing else in our government called the Secret Service. Like, right. we're not that kind of a country. But we have these guys who are responsible for protecting the president. We have no idea what they do, but they're very good at their work. And now, all of a sudden, during the Obama administration, they're like the Keystone Cops. Well, yeah, a lot has happened. <laughs> yeah. With, with the prostitutes, and well, now with the being drunk, and... So we got the up. prostitutes in Cartagena. He's yeah. the president on a trip to Colombia, and all these Secret Service agents bring prostitutes back to their hotel and then get in trouble for it because they don't want to pay them. <laughs> like, first, where do we begin? And then the guy who they assign from the Secret Service to investigate that gets caught busting into somebody else's hotel room in Washington because he left some bullets in her room and wants them back. <laughs> and he's investigating the earlier thing with the other hotel? <laughs> Now, the most recent thing is a couple of agents, very senior agents, one of the agents who's assigned directly to protect President Obama, end up back at the White House in the middle of a suspicious package investigation, and the officers on duty think they are drunk. They drive through police tape, they hit a police barricade. The officers on duty want to arrest them, and a Secret Service supervisor says, no, 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 let them go home. Well, ah. that's not good. No, that's right. and that's not good if it's your neighborhood cops, but when it's the Secret, Secret Service, Service yeah. it wakes me up at 3 o'clock in the morning like this. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, that story has changed a lot. In, 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 at first, they were going fast, and they ran over a package. Then it turns out they were going about a mile an hour. They, it was a very, bumped, it very was a, slow. It was a slow crash. And we don't know whether yeah. they were, were they, do we know that they were drunk? We don't. No, but right. we do know, at least the, re, the reporting is, that one of the uniformed Secret Service officers believed they were drunk, right. said they were acting erratically, wanted to both arrest them and breathalyze them. And, and the supervisor said no. no. I would like to talk to that supervisor. Yeah, if I were yeah. President Obama, I would like to talk to that supervisor because that yes. guy is directly protecting me. Yeah. yeah, and part of me imagines that President Obama has... Had a word. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. And I just, I just, I, that's the sort of thing, you know, we pay a lot of attention to politics and back and forth and sniping and everything. This is the most nonpartisan thing in the world. Right. This